This was the last photo taken before nine hikers went missing. Welcome back, Charlie here. History is full of unexplained events. Here are some rare and creepy historical photos you won't find in history books. First, we have to look at Shell Shock. This World War I soldier is terrified when he sees part of his uniform. He is experiencing shell shock, which is a form of PTSD. After World War I, many soldiers experienced this. They saw such horrors during the war that it scarred them for life. As a result, just the memory of this man's hat is enough to freak him out. He spent months in trenches and holes, with bombs exploding every 10 seconds nearby. This would happen for hours or even days at a time, gradually making their neural systems dysfunctional. Sadly, many people experiencing shell shock were actually executed by their own armies. That's because their armies thought they were cowering, when in reality, they were experiencing mental distress. Take a look at this famous photo called The Eyes of Madness. It shows a shell-shocked soldier in 1916. The soldier has gone insane by what he's seen, to the extent that he even seems happy in the photo. Many soldiers experiencing shell shock could never walk again. They also had trouble sleeping, eating, and doing other things. That's because their brain was forever changed by war. Even today, soldiers in war experience experience PTSD and shell shock. Next, we have to look at the Dyatlov Pass incident. The Dyatlov Pass incident is one of history's most unexplained events. In 1959, nine experienced Russian hikers went missing and passed away, all under very mysterious and unexplained circumstances. The hike took place in the Ural Mountains. They established a camp, but during the night, something caused them to leave their campsite. We know they were wearing very little clothing as they left it behind. They then ventured into the heavy snow and sub-zero temperatures for unknown reasons. When their bodies were discovered, it was found six of them had passed away from hypothermia, while the other three had been hit in the skull, suggesting that someone or something took their lives. But the mystery got even deeper when their cameras were found. This was the last image taken by one of the hikers. It shows a large figure peering out from some trees. Some call this a monster or a yeti. It appears to be large, dark, and hairy. Another photograph from one of the hikers shows an orb in the sky. The Dyatlov Pass incident remains unexplained to this day. Some believe an avalanche could have been responsible for the hikers passing away, while others say it may have been a living being like an animal or human. But despite all of the documentaries and research articles, we still don't know what happened on that fateful night in 1959. Moving on, we have to look at Colonel Anthony Padel. This photograph may look like a scene from a John Wick movie, but it actually shows a real-life US Army colonel. The man at the center of this image is Colonel Anthony Joseph Drexel Bidell. He was a hand-to-hand -hand combat expert, known for ordering trainee marines to try and kill him with bayonets. He would then disarm them all. That's right, this man was able to disarm around 20 people at once. This image was taken in 1943, but over the years he would do this to all trainees Marines. Colonel Bedell has gone down as the USA's best hand-to-hand -hand combat expert ever. He learned close quarters combat when he was a young man. He was a boxer who won many competitions, and went on to train hundreds of troops in hand-to-hand -hand combat in World War I and World War II. He passed away in 1948, three years after helping the USA win World War II. Moving on, we have to look at these buffalo skulls. This creepy historical photo was taken in the USA. In the 1880s, the American buffalo population went from 30 million to only 325. That's nearly 30 million buffalo passing away in only 50 years. And this image is a result of the aftermath. Early US settlers needed food. So, they would hunt millions of buffalo. Within 50 years, the American buffalo population nearly went extinct. The settlers did this not only so they had food, but also to make sure the Native Americans starved. Due to breeding efforts, thankfully the American buffalo population is around 500,000 today. But that's still so much less than the 1880s buffalo population of 30 million. This photograph shows just how badly mankind has treated nature over the years. And sadly, we're not so much 
much better today. Moving on, we have to look at the fattest woman and the shortest man. In 1922, the link-up of the century commenced. That was when the world's fattest woman met the world's smallest man. The woman is Nellie Blanche Lane from West Virginia, and the man is Clarence Chesterfield Howerton. They both performed at circus acts together. Nellie weighed a massive 642 pounds, or 291 kilograms, and Clarence was only 2 feet and 4 inches tall, or 71 centimeters. The two performed in circuses and movies together, until Nellie passed away in 1955 and Clarence passed away in 1975. Moving on, we have to look at this mysterious time traveler. This photo is known as the time traveling hipster photo. The image was taken in 1941. It was taken at the reopening of a bridge in British Columbia, Canada. Everyone in the crowd looks of the time, but one figure in the image looks out of place. He is wearing modern clothing, including a logo printed t-shirt, a hoodie, and sunglasses. He also seems to be holding a modern style camera. Some experts have tried to explain the image. They say that while sunglasses were uncommon, they did exist back in 1941. Also, his camera may be a Kodak folding pocket model, which again, while unusual, did exist. But the man does seem to have a modern look. So could this man be a time traveler, or was he just ahead of his time when it came to style and technology? Now we have to look at the space chimp. This chimpanzee is named Ham. Ham was owned by NASA. On January 31st, 1961, he became the first hominoid to ever go into space, three months before the first human ever went to space. Many people did not think Ham would survive, but amazingly, he did. Rare photos were captured of Ham before his mission, as well as very rare video. But Ham has a sad story. After the mission, Ham lived all alone in a zoo. He did so for the next 17 years, until he passed away on January 19th, 1983. Moving on, we have to look at the Hook Island Sea Monster. One of history's biggest enigmas is the Hook Island Sea Monster. The most famous photograph of this monster was taken in 1964. It was taken by Robert Le Sarek, a Frenchman vacationing with his family in Australia. The creature in the photo looks to be a massive tadpole. It's estimated to be 70 to 80 feet in length, and can be found in the shallow waters of Hook Island, Australia. You can see the monster's head and eye, as well as its massive body trailing behind. There are some theories for what the Hook Island sea monster could be. Some believe it may be a giant plesiosaur, or perhaps an unknown species of eel or ray. Over the years, various other sightings of the Hook Island sea monster have been recorded, but exactly what this is is still unexplained to this day. Next, we have to look at baby cages. This famous photo was taken in 1934. It shows a baby in a very precarious cage. These cages were put on the side of skyscrapers, mainly to give children fresh air and sunlight. But these baby cages were clearly very dangerous. After some babies began falling from the cages, they were discontinued, never to be made again. But it's crazy to think that parents actually thought this was a good idea. If that wasn't wild enough, take a look at this historic photo from the USA. This is a real baby safety seat on the outside of a car. This photograph was taken in 1952, and surprisingly for some years, these were actually commonplace. You just have to hope no one t-bones your car. If that happened, your baby would almost certainly not survive. Next, we have to look at the Bazooka Vespa. Vespas are a fun and easy way to get around a city, but it turns out they're also an easy way to blow up your enemies. This is the Vespa 150 TAP. It was an anti-tank scooter built in 1956. It is the world's deadliest moped. It had a 3-inch cannon that could fire a missile at enemies. These were used by French paratroops. They were used in Algeria, and in the Second Indochina War. Finally, let's look at swimming masks. This photo looks incredibly creepy, but it's actually a normal woman taking a dip in the 1920s. Women would wear these masks when they swam. This was mainly to protect their skin from the sun, but today she looks like a creepy killer, or maybe just a Mexican wrestler. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment down below which of these historical photos was the most creepy. If you want to see my short videos, then subscribe to my second channel. I've been Charlie. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top Tens.